Mercedes champions makes his comeback tonight, just seven months after an horrendous car crash which almost cost him his life. The British featherweight champion from Swansea steps into the ring here at the King's Hall, Stoke-on-Trent, anxious to prove that he's still on course for both European and world title challenges. But is Dickey going to be as good as when he won a Lonsdale belt last year in the record time of 203 days? In that time, he twice outpointed a former champion, John Feeney, and stopped Steve Sims inside five rounds. And the tempo of this fight has not decreased one iota since the first bell as we come oh and the end of five and that was sammy got caught with a punch to the solar plexus he needs to get up needs to get up because the count can go on and on and on even though the bell had gone sammy sims is gone robert dickey is still the british featherweight champion but earlier this year, Dickey was fighting for his career and his life. This was his wrecked car after a Sunday afternoon crash in Carmarthen. Dickey was pulled unconscious from the wreckage and rushed to an intensive care ward. His injuries were serious. It's a broken back. And what were you told at the time? Yeah, I might not fight, I might not even walk. So how did you manage to recover then? Well, they just kept me in bed for a couple of days and then realized that I wasn't paralyzed. Like, I wouldn't accept that I was paralyzed. They kept doing tests and told me as long as I stay still and behave myself, like, I'd be able to walk out. So how have you managed to make such a quick recovery? Uh, just up the sheer willpower, I think it was. And what's the after effects situation now? Nothing at all. I don't feel any. So you're very lucky then? Yes, yeah, very lucky. Very lucky indeed. But now Robert Dickey returns to boxing action. He takes on Rocky Lawler, the Midlands area bantamweight champion from Birmingham. It's scheduled for 10 rounds, so let's join commentators Jim Watt and Reg Gutteridge. Well, what a dramatic return to the ring this is then for the featherweight champion Robert Dickey, having overcome those injuries in the back and had extensive medical checks, not only by his own hospital in Wales, but by the British Boxing Board of Control in London before his license was renewed. And Rocky Lawler, the Midlands Bantamweight champion, is a tough little nut, as we've seen quite a few times in the past. Like that. Willing to come out and throw punches. He's uh, not intending to be some kind of sparring partner for the return of Robert Dickey, who's a very good boxer. And a Lonsdale belt outright winner too. But there was a time when very few of us thought after that... Uh, car smash that he could really return to the ring because you really have to get yourself into tremendous shape to be a boxer Jim just an ordinary layoff would say a hand injury or something's bad enough but can you imagine having to come back from this and he's yes. cut in the opening round Robert Dickey too above the right eye yeah well Dickey has some very classy moves but I think now is the time oh, I punching there uh, on the break but uh, I think Dickie wants to to think about the classy moves here he doesn't want to get too involved with Lawler until he gets rid of some of that ring rust Lawler has a, a bulldozing style and there's more chance that if there are clashes of heads that Dickie's going to come off worse and that may have happened already I didn't notice that a punch cutting Dickie's eye but he just wants to take his time here oh he's being a bit severe isn't he about the head punching after the break hit him on the deck then that was just as well he didn't he won't rule that a knockdown by the look of it the referee so robert dickey the champion now 15 wins only one loss of his 18 fights with a minute to go in the opening round and it's all happening dickey's trying to bomb lawler out and that is not dickey's style is it He's more liable to have that injury worse than this. He should be taking his time, keep out of trouble until his corner can do something with the injury. But uh, he's decided it's time to start bombing. Well, I'll tell you what, Jim. It's on the cards. This fellow could get disqualified because Paul Thomas has been very severe with him, isn't he? Well, he's warned them twice for the same thing. So I think once more than he could be in trouble. It's not as though it's been different things he's been warned for. He's been punching after he's uh, told them to stop boxing. But surely Dickey must have been anticipating this is how Lawler would start the fight. I mean, this is the way he does things. He's a 
a real little competitor, a good little tough nut. And this is the, the only thing Lawler, Lawler was expected to do, but Dickie hasn't coped with it too well as yet. Well, with a nickname like Rocky, that's exactly what you do expect. And I think he's glad to get this round over now, Robert Dickey. Oh, and again after the bell there. Dickey's not too pleased about that. I don't want to see him lose his rag. The champions are not supposed to do that. But what a lively start. <laughs> A lot of work to do now, isn't it? No, 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 no. I mean, he's cut, as I said, over the right eye there. Not too bad. Yeah, well, well Dicky seemed to want to get himself fired up there in that first round, and that's not the way he does things. That's uh, obviously suiting Lawler. I didn't notice a punch landing to cut the eye. Uh, Lawler was a little bit dangerous with his head a couple of times in the round. But Dicky's going to have to start doing his thing and stop doing Lawler's thing. He's going to have to tidy up his act and get some boxing. I don't know what it, no, you don't see a head clash there. He definitely caught him uh, with a punch, but he got up right Round away. Two. Into the second then. And the referee now asking them to calm down, and in particular, I would have thought Lawler, but at the end of that round, Dickey was about to retaliate as well. I like that. So he's going to have a word now, Gary Newborn, I think, if he can, with Robert Dickey's manager, Colin Breen. How bad is that cut, Colin Brain? It's not too bad at the moment, but um, we got to watch him with his head. He's coming in too low. I he, he is coming in low and he's a bit wild. I, but Richard uh, being a bit reckless, should he not be a bit more cautious in these opening rounds? Robert, he should be, I think, but uh, you know what he's like? He'll have him now. Oh, no, he's getting his own back now, Dickie. He's done the right hand. He's getting a little bit more venom into his punches now. He's such a classy boxer when he's not roughed up like this, and uh, yeah, he, he really has had to do it the hard way, isn't he? I mean, he has far more talent than Lawler, so why is he not using the... He wants to, to blast Lawler out to uh, his style. Which he's already cut, he doesn't, want, he doesn't want to be cut again. He should really just be picking his punches. He's a, a little bit more flat-footed than we expect to see him, and he's getting caught with silly punches himself. OK, if one of these punches from Dickie lands, it'll probably be all over. But it's not the way we expect our British champion to be. That's twice he's fallen onto the floor. A little bit untidy for a British champion, is it not? He caught him with his elbow too, Dickie, as he came in there. Just lost his composure, that's what's happened there. He was hoping to come back and ease himself. Oh, he's disqualified him. I mean, that was a bit obvious on the break. The crowd are not going to like that, but I think Dickie deserved that, uh, Jim. I mean, I know we've seen a lot worse in American rings, etc. but we did warn early on that Thomas can't go on warning people like this, and he's had to take the decision. Well, you, you can't go on warning a fighter from the same misdemeanor. It had been different things. He'd been low punches and elbowing and different things. Fair enough, but he was warned twice, and he was more or less warned he would be disqualified, and he did it again, punching on the break. Well, you were asking for that, surely? No, not really. The only one who needs to be Robert Dickey. He's a cracking little fighter, lovely boxer. Had to go for him from the first bell. And it's him everywhere. But it's you, all the red you, pulls you off. Hang on a minute. You were warned a lot of times in that first round. Yeah, well, he'd done it bit himself, you know. It wasn't just all one way. What you about the me? cut? That was a headbutt. Yeah, well, he was using it as well. You know, he said just coming in. Mine was going just one of them things. But, but surely... Yeah, the take... other way around, say, if I was cut, you know what I mean? What would have been said then? But surely you take notice of warnings, you've got to ease it up a Well, bit. I didn't, I just was so excited, I wanted to win tonight, I didn't care how I'd done it. I just wanted to win, you know well, what I mean? Well, you said you didn't care how you did it, but that's probably why you got disqualified. Yeah, but what about him, Daddy? You know what I mean? He had to go in here and fight. He had to win the fight. The only way he could win the fight was, was go in win. and fight. To let everything go. Floor. And that's what well, he did. Yeah, mate. Well, he's let him stand up and punch his head, is he? No, he it's too to good of a fight. I have to go, go at him. We want a return, right? We want a return, and we'll beat him. I'll take his head off. No sweat. We'll do it properly next oh. time. Well, uh, yeah, can you just have a word with him as well, Gaddy, and tell him as well, because his head was going a bit as well. No, okay. OK, Rocky. Ladies and gentlemen, in one minute, 41 seconds of round two, 
the referee disqualifies Lawler for persistently ignoring the referee's warnings. Dickey is the winner. Well, a lot of rough stuff in the fight, but a little bit of old pals at the end. Lawler's said his piece, and now I think he's explaining to Robert Dickey, oh, hey, I wouldn't mind a second go. I don't do this deliberately. That's the way I fight. And it's a sporting pat on the back, too, by the comeback then of the British featherweight champion. Well, you've come back from an horrific car crash. That wasn't a great way to start, was it? Being headbutted and everything else. No, not really. I was expecting a good, tidy few round fight to show that I can still box, and I'm still the same guy as what I always was. Would you be interested in fighting him again? I mean, it's well, a lot I, of fouls. I had a guarantee that he'd be able to box tidy. But as he said just now, he wasn't interested in fighting me. He was interested in winning, and winning any way he can, as he told me himself. Obviously, a bit ring rusty, but was it difficult getting away from that sort of thing. You looked a bit careless, as if you were getting in the way a lot. Uh, but his head was coming in, he was just trying, he wasn't interested in fighting. He said he was just trying to butt me, maul me, steal one on me, trying to get the best shot to have me go in. Well, the talking in the ring just went on and on. It seemed to last longer than the fight. The upshot of it was that Nobby Nobbs, the manager of Rocky Lawler, offered a return challenge of £1,000. Colin Green, for Dickey, said, make it 3000 and in Wales and we'll take you on. I think in the end, though, everybody knows that Dickey is going to win against Lawler. He has real talent. We'll be following his progress in this series. That was a frustrating top of the bill tonight, but we've got a real cracker coming up for you after this short break.